Hey, how's it going? Alex here from Ideaspot, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about what is the best web hosting for an Australian website. So, we all know Australia has a pretty long history of having terrible internet, and it's been very hard to find good quality Australian web hosting. But over the past few years, some actual decent options have shown up, and we're at the point where I can actually recommend four choices. So, uh, three of those are actually based in Australia and have Australian data centers. The fourth one is in Singapore, but it's also really cheap. So I'm gonna go through those in a minute. So if that sounds interesting, keep watching. Okay, so the four that we're gonna be looking at are SiteGround, Cloudways, Ventra IP, and Hostinger. So those top three, SiteGround, Cloudways, Ventra, all those have Australian data centers and hosting it has a Singapore data center, but it is super cheap on its entry level plan. And Singapore, the uh, latency between Australia and Singapore is still pretty fast, so you can still get decent times. But if you really want top performance, let's have a look at those top three as well. So let's get started. So let's get into a quick comparison. So first up, we've got SiteGround, 495 Australian dollars per month. Now it's based in Sydney. This year they actually got a Sydney data center, which has just been awesome. They didn't always have a Sydney option, but now that they do, I can easily recommend SiteGround as a great choice. And that Sydney data center is powered by Google Cloud. So the performance I've seen from this so far has been amazing. And it is WordPress.org recommended. So if you like using WordPress to build your websites, um, I'm sure a lot of you do. I definitely do. So this is probably my top option. But once you've grown out of shared hosting and you need something more powerful, Cloudways, you can get a Sydney-based virtual private server. Now that starts from $11 US, which is about 17 Australian dollars per month. But you get to choose your network. So you can choose Google Cloud, AWS, Linode, Vulture, all really good networks. And you can get that virtual private server, which gives you much more power than shared hosting. So that's 17 Australian dollars. Next up, we've got Ventra. Now, Ventra IP from $8.95 Australian dollars, you're getting 100% Australian owned and operated shared hosting. Now, Cloudways and SiteGround, they are based in Sydney, but they're not Australian owned. So if you're one of those companies that loves just dealing with other Australian companies, then Ventra IP, it's still pretty good value. Not quite as good value as those other two, but you do get Australian tech support. I know a lot of people love just getting an Australian to talk to on the phone. So Ventra offers that. So I just put that as an option. I think those other two give you slightly better uh, bang for buck, but Ventra as a 100% Australian company, I definitely have to put that on the list. Now, finally, Hostinger doesn't have an Australian data center, but it does have a Singapore data center and it is the cheapest one I've ever found, like $1.55 Australian. You can buy four years worth of hosting for under 50 bucks. That's crazy cheap. It is not quite as fast and it's not gonna be able to handle the amount of traffic these guys can handle. But if you're just starting out, you're a hobbyist, you don't need a very powerful website. This could be a decent option as well. But overall, I think just bang for buck price for performance, I think SiteGround would be the one I'd recommend to most people who are looking at getting into their first web hosting company. So SiteGround, 495 Australian, Sydney, Google Cloud, WordPress recommended. Uh, you can't really go wrong. Now I've got links in the description to all of these if you're interested in checking them out. I've even organized discounts with a couple of them. So um, particularly SiteGround gives you a very deep discount when you first sign up. Uh, hosting it is not bad as well, but uh, definitely check those links out. Now let's just go through some other reasons that I recommend SiteGround. So SiteGround competed in a very difficult uh, benchmarking performance test by ReviewSignal.com and it was competing in the under $25 category. Then that's US dollars. So that is a five US dollar plan competing against $25 plans. And it did really well. It, it scored an honorable mention. And uh, this test involves um, benchmarking with a thousand simultaneous users. So that's a simulation and it has to pass that test. And it did really well in that test. So uh, it can handle a lot of traffic for that low price price it's pretty cool there's also the poll in the wordpress facebook group that i'm part of where it's all the wordpress freelancers and designers all together in one group and we voted on which wordpress hosting we like the best and siteground came out on top and it wasn't surprising we all know that it's been really great for a long time so that was the one we recommend hosting it actually came up number three as well so it's actually improved a lot in the last few years so hosting it another good point where you're just really looking at a good budget option but SiteGround priced performance top option 
Also, if you stick around to the end of the video, I'm actually going to set up a SiteGround website and run some speed tests on it so you can see just how fast it runs from that Sydney data center. So given that I have recommended SiteGround, what I'm going to do next is just take you through a quick setup guide. So if you just follow the link in the description for SiteGround, I'm going to take you through the setup and I'm going to get your website all set up over the next few minutes, super easy step by step. So let's get started. Okay, so when you follow that description link, you'll end up here where you choose your plan on SiteGround. Now the best value one is probably grow big, $7.45 a month because you get unlimited websites. But if you wanna save a couple dollars and you only need one website, then the startup plan, $4.95, that's the one to go for. But in most cases, grow big is the best one. So let's get that plan. The next step is just choosing a name for your website. So you can register a new domain name just through this form here. Just type in a name, for example, jimswebsite.com.au. You don't have to choose .com.au. You can choose .com, .net, .org, any of these new uh, domain names. These will work on SiteGround. So um, just try out what you think would might be good for your website and see if it's taken. If it's not, then register it for yourself. You should just be mindful that if you want a .com AU, you need to have an ABN, that's an Australian business number. If you don't have one, you can get one for free. Um, I just Googled for get an ABN. Now don't click on any of these ads, click on the first one, the ABR Gov AU website. Now that, um, all you have to do is follow those prompts. You can get an ABN, it's instant and it's free. So if you want a .com AU, uh, you'll just have to go through that process if you haven't already, but otherwise um, any of these other ones you can just go ahead and register that straight away. Now um, if you're just starting out definitely just register a domain through the form. I actually already have uh, something I'm going to use for this demonstration so I'm going to plug that in here and click proceed. So for this example I'm going to be using one called ideademo.site so I'll just pop that in and click proceed and let's get going. The next part's pretty boring. You just have to fill in your details. If the field is compulsory, it'll have a little asterisk. So those are the ones you'll need to fill in, such as your email, password, country, and name. Uh, your country and ABN, they're not uh, compulsory, but if you've got one, fill those in as well. Uh, payment information, and this is the thing we need to take some attention to. So just make sure your data center is set to Australia. Uh, there are a few to choose from, so there actually are six, but Obviously we're in Australia, we want the Australian one and the period is important as well. So you're gonna want at least 12 months to get the full discount. Uh, if you want that discount over a longer period, go for 24 or 36, but you'll have to pay more upfront. If you wanna save a little bit upfront, just go for 12, but if you want that longer discount, go for the full 36, but totally up to you. I'm just gonna go for 12 for this demo and then scroll down. All you have to do is click that first one to confirm the terms and conditions. You don't need to actually receive the uh, newsletter. It's totally optional. I'm just gonna leave that unticked. But once that's all filled out, just click pay now. So the cool thing with SiteGround is your account will get set up instantly. You'll get a little success message after you pay and you can proceed straight to your customer area. And you'll also get a confirmation email as well, which will have links back to your login. But let's just go ahead and proceed to the custom area and start setting up our website. Now, the first time you log in, you'll get an option there to set up your site. You can also create websites through the website thing from your main menu, but let's just click set up site here. And we're gonna use the existing domain that we used during the setup. And we're gonna pop that in there. That is ideademo.site and click continue. It's just got a little notification just to double check that you have access to this domain if you bought it from another place. But if you bought it during the registration process, it'll go straight through. So let's just click continue again there. We are gonna be starting a new website and we're gonna use WordPress. And then we just need to put in a email address and a nice strong password. Make sure you choose a good password that you don't use on other websites. So I've just filled that out and we'll click continue. It's gonna ask if you want the SG site scanner. Now you don't have to use that. There's plenty of free site scanners like uh, WordFence for example, or Securi. So no need to add that and pay extra. Just go ahead and click finish here. You can check out some of my earlier videos where I actually show you how to set up Securi or WordFence so you can get that free scanning. So no need to worry about that at all. So after a couple of minutes, you'll get a success tick there and you are all set. So you can go ahead and start managing your website. Just note here that if you bought your domain from another provider, you'll need to just update the name server. So just copy those and go to your domain manager. For example, I'm using GoDaddy for my domain. So I just updated the name servers with those SiteGround names. So you just have to click change and just fill in those details. So 
pretty easy to do. It may be a little bit different on your domain, say you're using um, crazy domains or you're using Namecheap, but it's all a, quite a similar process. So just update those, hit save, and then you'll be able to manage your site after the domain um, name updates. So that can take a little bit of a wait, like a few hours sometimes, but uh, after a little while, it'll start working. But if you bought your domain through SiteGround, it'll probably work pretty much straight away. So we can go ahead and manage our site. So we just click manage site and that will take us to our SiteGround dashboard. The first thing we'll do is set up our security. So we get our padlock icon in our um, browser. Let's go to SSL manager there. And to install the SSL certificate, we just choose the um, domain that we're gonna put it on and choose the type of certificate. You can choose Let's Encrypt or Let's Encrypt Wildcard. Wildcard will let you use subdomains as well as the main domain. So these are both free. So you may as well choose this one here and click get. When that's all done, you'll get a success message. Let's click configure HTTPS. This will give you a little bit of information about SSL, but all it really means is all you have to do is go back and go to HTTPS enforce and click this HTTPS enforce and turn it on. You'll get a success message there. And that just means that you'll get the padlock icon in your browser, like this little padlock thing when people are viewing your site and it secures their connection between their browser and the server. Next thing we can do is check out speed and click Cloudflare. It does include a free Cloudflare plan with this hosting, so you may as well set it up as long as we're here. Scroll down here and click set up. So you can create a new Cloudflare account, just putting an email and password in there, or you can connect your existing Cloudflare account. I've actually got an existing Cloudflare account, so I'm just gonna connect straight away like that. And we get a success message. Then all we have to do is click activate free. Then we'll get our success message saying that Cloudflare for Idea Demo site is activated. Next thing we can do is check out WordPress and check install and manage. We should have an idea spot WordPress site already set up that we did before. So we can click that little arrow there and go to our admin panel. Here we are in the WordPress dashboard. Now SiteGround gives you this customized dashboard to make it a little bit easier for beginners. I actually like the standard WordPress dashboard. So let's go to plugins and let's just make everything standard WordPress. So you get this WordPress starter plugin there. I'm just gonna deactivate that just so we get the clean default WordPress. Now there's one more little step that we do before we install our theme, go to settings and general. And here we just wanna change HTTP to HTTPS. So when we install our theme, all our pages get installed as HTTPS. So let's go down and click save changes. Now, because we changed our site address, we have to log back into WordPress again. So just use your WordPress uh, username and password to log back in there. Go to appearance and themes in your dashboard. I am going to add a new theme and I really like Astra when I'm first starting out with a new WordPress site. So let's go for the Astra theme and click install. When that's all done, we click activate and we can actually run the Astra startup template thing here. So let's click get started. So starter templates make it really quick to just import some demo content and get a really good looking website just straight away. The page builder we use, I love Elementor as the best free page builder among these choices. And here we can just choose a starter template for our website. What we want to do here is filter by free. So let's click free there. And these are the free starter templates that Astra offers at the moment. There's a great range to choose from such as like the outdoor adventure and mountain, which are just versatile themes that would be good for blogging or events. And there are actually some free e-commerce themes as well, like the organic store, simply natural brand store, which is great for fashion and beauty, which would be cool for like an influencer doing beauty products. So let's go for that one. And all we have to do here is click import complete site. And we just click import and it will install a few plugins and it takes a few minutes, but just be patient. So you'll get an import successful message and then we can view our site. And there we go, we've got this beautiful starter template all installed on our demo site domain with the secure SSL. So all we have to do from here to edit this website is click edit with Elementor. Now I've got heaps of other videos on my channel where I show you how to use Elementor, but it's a very simple um, point and click drag and drop editor. I'll just show you briefly how this works. You can basically uh, click on any of these elements and edit them. For example, I could click on this one and change it from beauty pronounced to beauty uh, beauty guides. 
And that's all there is to it. It's all pretty straightforward. I will put a link in the description to another Elementor tutorial so you can continue doing this. But what I really wanna do here is run some speed tests on this website just to see how fast it really is. So let's head back to our main page. I'm gonna to go to our, back to our view page here. And I'm gonna leave Elementor. Here we are back on our page. So basically just looking around our page and clicking our menus, we can see that it's loading extremely fast and I'm in Australia and pages don't normally load this fast in Australia. So let's run some real speed checks. So to do a speed check, head over to tools.pingdom.com, put the URL into the address bar there and you wanna choose where you wanna test from. We're gonna test from Sydney and then click start test. It does take a minute for this test to run. So let's just wait for that to finish. And there we go, we've got a load time of 463 milliseconds. So that is incredible. That is under half a second load time. So um, that's 0.46 seconds. So that's really great for an Australian website. Um, that's the power of that Google Cloud data center in Sydney. So uh, we saw we could set up a nice, fast, good looking website. The price is low. It's really an easy recommendation to make. So check that link in the description. I definitely encourage you to check out SiteGround, but uh, thumbs up if this has been helpful. And don't forget to subscribe too, because I'm gonna be coming back every week with new WordPress videos, tutorials, reviews. So check those out too. Love to have you back. And thanks for watching. I will see you next time.